to ask you guys, previous seasons have been compared to like uh, Harry Potter or Narnia or Lord of the Rings and some of the themes and aspects you guys approach. If you were to describe kind of parallel in a famous or uh, noteworthy kind of magical story for season four, what would you guys say? It's a little bit more 1984. Yes. <laughs> Very exciting. Yeah, that we have a, a definite element of authoritarianism in that magic has been returned, but it's under the control of the library, um, the order of the Library of the Netherlands, who are, I mean, they're not bad guys, but nobody with that much power can be a good guy all the time, and that becomes a story this season. So I'm something something you guys do frequently, which is commenting on our current social society. I have no idea what happening. you're talking about. Mm. <laughs> Elliot does turn orange. <laughs> he does, a oh, little bit. He drinks kind of... Swiss Tang and plays too much golf. And his hair is kind of weird. It's weird. But that's not about anything. No. I like Cheetos. Like Cheetos? Everyone likes Cheetos. Uh, yeah. uh, how do you approach that kind of storytelling where you want to be relevant and to a degree political, but stay in the tone of the magicians? Um, you know, you just try to be honest. Honestly, it's, I mean, it's really it's, it's, it's as simple as how do we feel today and how does it feel to, you know, sense that if, if perhaps my rights aren't being curtailed, but I definitely know friends of mine, their rights are being curtailed. I know people who are who have brown skin spend much more time in airport TSA lines than I do, you know. Um, so, I, you know, I, it's impossible to live in the world and not see child parent separations or, you know, whatever it is. Um, and that just seeps in. It's like it's like water going through like you know rocks down into a tide pool. It just eventually it's going to get there, and it's going to take a form that you hope is not too obvious, that's not too gauche, but that is kind of maybe what I always sort of hope is that you create something the audience can enjoy now, and then maybe in twenty years, God willing. They look back and say, oh, that was, that's kind of what that culture was going through. Like, the news was this barrage of, like, information, but here was something that distilled information. Like, if you watch the movie Network today, mm -hmm. it's two things. It is so eerily predictive. You'd think that Patty Jasky, the writer, was a psychic. But two, it's a really amazing picture of 1976 America. Like absolutely as clear so it's almost a historical document and I don't think we're in that range I'm not comparing us I'm just saying that like the attempt you make is is be current as, as much as you can be and then try to remember that you want to sit somewhere culturally later on um, and then let it go because you can't control that stuff you know, ultimately you gotta let it say maybe we remembered maybe we've forgotten it feels right to us today, mm -hmm. you know. Fascism just felt weirdly real. You know? We all we all read books on it. We all watched documentaries, yeah. movies. Yeah. Yeah. So the end of season three found our characters separated. Season four, they have alternate personas, yeah. Alice's, and the library. What next? <laughs> library. Yeah, library. Yeah. <laughs> What is next? What's next? Kim, played by Stella Mae, designs a lot of buildings in Tribeca. Brian grades a lot of papers. Isaac, nay, Josh, drives a lot of Ubers. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, there's some... So, so they don't know magic is real, and they, they have these complete... They don't even, by the way, look like themselves. Right. If, 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 if you, know, you were the in mirror. the room with them, what you would see is not necessarily Stella Mae. You'd see a different actress. Um, so that was a particular challenge of shooting at the beginning of this season, but magic is coming for them. And uh, so there's, it's sort of like these, um, these witness protection identities are on a collision course with the monster um, that is inhabiting Elliot. And as you say, indeed, there's uh, Alice, she's in prison, she knows what's up, and she desperately wants to get out so she can help. What was the process of deciding to do different we just wanted the idea of magical witness protection to be logical. 
Yeah. Like, if I'm going to really be hunted by the library and I'm going to have, like, the name Bob Smith, I shouldn't look like this. Because there's, like, a wanted poster. So I should look like Brad Pitt, you know. That's or what Tom your stand-in will look like? Daniel Craig. <laughs> Daniel Craig. <laughs> Kiwi Herman. Uh, musical episodes have become sort of a, a fan highlighter. We get excited and we wait for them. Can we expect a musical episode this season? Yep. <laughs> We're not at liberty to say, but can you see how delighted he is? I wish I was stroking a white cat right now. <laughs> There's a lot of freedom for this one. It yeah. sort of organically popped up. We didn't feel beholden to do it, and I mean, John knows that I would just as soon skip a year. But um, <laughs> but there is. Can you imagine a, how these would go if you're like, no, 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 there's no fucking musical. We'd never get out of here alive. It's like then I'm the bad guy of the minute. It's like Sarah won this year, no musical. Um, <laughs> you're like Alice at the end of season three. <laughs> you destroyed all the magic, Sarah. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one thing I'll say without spoiling too much is that uh, there is an episode this season where the circumstances that one of our characters finds themselves in is highly hallucinatory. Yes. And that just seemed to us to be a good reason why people around them might sing. And they will. They will sing a lot. <laughs> why are you so anti-musical? I just... There are musicals that I love. Hold on. First of all, he tortures me with them. He t fucking tortures me with them. I he loves really, them so I much. Show really bad ones. Um, oh no! I yeah. just I don't know. I love theater, and there Check are many musicals that I love. So I don't fun. consider myself like a musical theater junkie on the merits, though. I feel like as a as a construct, I don't know why people are singing about their feelings. It kind of irritates me. So there are certainly many musicals that transcend that. Right? There's some that I that have come out in the last couple of years. I've seen more than once even. I love them so much. But um, but generally Hamilton. speaking, yeah, Hamilton, Dear Evan Hansen. I mean, there's some low-hanging fruit that is exceptional. But as a rule, I'm sort of like, why don't you just say what you mean? Why are we singing and dancing right now? I'm too, uh, I'm just too goth for musicals. <laughs> what about a like, like goth musical? I might be into that. Maybe season five. I hope for season just, five. It's just the Smiths. John's like, this one's on you, and just walks out of the room. <laughs> so season two saw the end essentially turn it on its head with the new Big Bad. Same with the end for season three. Season four, what's that like with the Big Bad? I mean, obviously, the library's in control. But... Right. You've met a Big Bad, Elliot. Yeah, that, you know, you know that but that's also, the Big Bad's played by a really good actor. But it's and, multi, you know, he's multifaceted. He's not just after one thing. He's not alone. Speaking of Elliot, is he going to be okay? Is there hope for the actual Elliot? Things don't seem so good for him, huh? <laughs> like, luckily, we like Hale a lot. We do like Hale, but Elliot is in a bad situation. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. Do you guys with one another? What is it you like working about with each other? Uh, I think I, I, will, I will actually, I thought about this question. I anticipated this. Um... I have a theory, actually, based on... Because I'm much, 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 much older than any human alive. No, I'm just <laughs> 970 years old. Oh, you look good. 400 television shows. We did television shows in Greece. No. So I have, it, but I have a theory about partnerships. And the, 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 if you have similar taste but very different personalities, that's going to work. If you have identical personalities and really different tastes, that's never going to work. It's just not. I can look at every partnership I've had that worked and didn't work. And the fact is, musicals aside, if one of us says that's good, the other one goes, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> but we have really different personalities. We have different backgrounds. You know, we have different, we're just very different people who happen to just like the same stuff. You know, which is interesting because I might like it for reason A, she might like it for reason B, but it's not like either of us goes like, you like that? I mean, except for, you know, <laughs> Stephen Sondheim. <laughs> <laughs>